factor the polynomial completely. Here we have a trinomial. Looking for the greatest common factor, the greatest common factor is 1, so we can't factor further. There are two methods to factoring trinomials. The first method is take the leading coefficient, the first one, multiply by the constant term, or the last coefficient, if it has a variable. And this gives us 80. We then look for factors of 80 that add up to the middle term, negative 18. That would be negative 8 and negative 10. Negative 8 times negative 10 is positive 80, and negative 8 plus negative 10 is negative 18. Some people have seen this, where you put the 80, and then the factors of the 80, and then the sum. It's kind of an interesting way to notate this process, but again, what you're looking for is factors of the product, the AC product, that add up to the B coefficient. Once you have those, you break the B term up into these. So we'd have 5x squared minus 8x and minus 10x. That's our minus 18x plus 16. We can then factor by grouping, factoring out an x, leaving us 5x minus 8, and factoring out a negative 2, leaving us 5x minus 8. We now have a binomial factor of 5x minus 8 in common, leaving us an x minus 2 when we factor it out. This would be the factored form. We could multiply it out to check. The other method is to jump straight into seeing if you can factor the final answer. So we have the 5, let me rewrite it, give me a little more space. We have the factors of 5. I will work with 5 and 1, they're only factors of 5. And 16, there's lots of choices. I would start with 4 and 4, because I like to start with the factors that are the closest in size. The outer product would be 20. The inner product would be 4. And I cannot combine 20 and 4 to make 18. I could make 16 if I subtracted, or 24 if I added, but I can't make 18. So then I try a different combination. Instead of 4 and 4, let's try 8 and 2. The outer product is 10, the inner product is 8, and this will make an 18 if I add them together. So these are worth trying out. Let's see how far we can get. So the 5 and 1 represent 5x and x. The 8 and 2 represent 8 and 2. Sometimes if this is like a 16y squared, they represent 8y, 2y, like that. And they need to combine to be negative 18. So they both have to be negative. And the product, the last product, is correct, positive 16. That is our factored form. Okay. Then you multiply it out to double check your answer. 